Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to continue on uh, landing the lander cans fi finally... what? I don't know if anybody else can hear that. Is that my headphones? Where's that sound coming from? No way. Is it? I'm gonna retract the scanner real quick, see what happens. I'll be damned. It is a scanner. <laughs> I thought my headphones were breaking down. I mean, they're old headphones, but I thought they were breaking down. I was like, yay, another thing breaking down. Why did I think for one second I'd, I would actually have just a normal peaceful night recording KSP? But no, it's actually the sound coming from the narrow band scanner. And I don't remember it creating sound unless, unless the restock also changes some of the sound, which is pretty cool. Okay, now here's the bad thing about this whole... Um, um, getting the getting the landers down there actually maybe not bad thing we'll, we'll, we'll see but um, this dish right here is the relay antenna that I've been using to control remote controlled rovers and when we start taking more pieces apart of course that means that this is going to be worthless junk in space but it is what it is and we have to work with what we have because if you look now none of my satellites are working not a single one oh, hold on yeah so satcom 1 and satcom 2 two are both pretty much worthless just floating in space doing absolutely nothing we still have the lost rover that is uh, orbiting the planet and of course the fledgling colony that that has been through a lot already and we haven't really even started yet but we've pushed through we've managed to get through we've macgyvered and scienced the shit out of it and we've pushed through so the seed factory is working the factory factory is working we can build and manufacture and that that's gonna keep us alive now we just need to go ahead and send the rest of the people down to the colony and let's get this started eventually I think what I'll do is I'll do uh, either two one or two things the gravity is very light so it's possible that I can send a ship up there with some engineers and some parts and get into uh, an orbit with the satellites or uh, I got one better for you I can just go ahead and say screw you satellites and do a real easy launch and just put two or three more up there until we have communication with the entire planet so I'm, I'm get I'm thinking that instead of doing a complicated mission of sending Kerbals up there and having to get into an orbit and everything else um, we're just gonna go ahead and send brand new satellites up there to do the job that the satcom one and two have unfortunately uh, not weren't designed or, or a design flaw we're gonna we're just gonna you know air quotations uh, they were rushed into production and had a flaw and unfortunately they do not work and so we're gonna have to work around that problem wonderful things here in the the new colony to save Kerbal kind okay so let's go ahead and I don't think we're in a good position but we'll go ahead and undock it undock and uh, prepare prepare all right you guys excited yay we're excited yes your brand new home home away from home all right let's do this decouple there she goes. No more communications with the. Uh, no more relay communications. We got what we got. We're gonna use what we got. We're gonna make it, make it happen. Make it happen, Kevin. We'll wait till that floats away harmlessly into space. Junk. Bye bye. All right, here we go. Decoupling first habitat module. Separation looks good. Activating fuel. Fuel's online. Systems ready. Activating engines. Moving forward. try to get in position here so they might be in orbit for about a day or two but that's fine they've been in orbit for they've been in space for a long time anyway so a few more days isn't gonna hurt okay so now of course we're gonna run through a couple of simulations first before we actually land the craft f5 save three two one burn all right hopefully that's the spot here we go for the first simulation, which may actually be a actual landing. So, hmm, if, if we nail it the first time, which I doubt, highly doubt, uh, then it won't be a simulation. It'll just be uh, a really great landing. An amazing landing by amazing Kerbals. Here we go. 
Uh, in order to not mess around with my trajectory, I think I'll leave the air brakes for towards the very end of the landing. Huh, I wonder why that's not turning on. Let's manually turn it on. There we go. Oh, oh wow, that, that kind of looks cool. <laughs> I don't remember there being four. I thought there was just three. Oh, well, I'll take anything. So basically, they're the most powerful spotlights in the game, and I made them red. That way, if by some reason the shadow or the lighting was off, I could tell how close I was to the ground just by uh, those lights and it looks like we're gonna looks like we're gonna shoot off a little bit there's no correcting it now though at least i don't think so and we'll find out here we go let's turn on the trajectories thing so i can in flight there we go a little better here okay time to burn burn hard go 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 can turn on those air brakes now even though they're probably not doing shit. Landing gear's out. Burning fuel, baby. We are burning so much fuel. Wow, looks like we I, I don't know, but I, I, we might be, like, right on top of it here. That's what this is telling us. That's what that's saying. Coming in pretty hard, though. I really don't have a suicide burn calculator here. But I can only guess that we're coming in pretty damn hard. Whoo, wow, this is so cool. Am I getting better at this? Is this what that is? Coming in for a nice, gentle landing. Hello, boys. Okay, on a little bit of a slope, but... you. <laughs> I'm geeking out over that, actually. I was expecting at least two or three tries before getting anywhere near the damn colony. I was expecting at least two or three tries. Okay, cool. So what we can do is uh, we can come over and uh, have the engineers put on wheels, right? and a uh, means to tow it over over there once we're once we're done let's bring uh, the other colony in this is this of course is not a relay antenna so it's it's freaking worthless but we'll go ahead and turn it on anyway or extend it in order to make it look pretty yes very very pretty worthless but pretty all right colony lander one has successfully touched down even though it's a little bit of a heel only one has successfully touched down. All right, let's bring in the other one. All right, time for the second Conus lander to couple. Let's make sure we have everybody. Ooh, somebody was in there. Ho, ho, ho. That would have been bad. All right, is there anything we need from here? Anything at all? Do we have everything we need? Because once we leave, once we leave this... Sh this colony ship is just going to be a big overgrown satellite for however long it before we are able to be a spacefaring civilization again. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's no room for her? Did we launch a craft that, that, that had her seat? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I could have swore I made it so that there's room for her in the last one. Fudge. Wow. Okay. Um, that sucks. So much for the satellite idea. It's gonna have to turn into a piece of garbage in space because, uh, I'm not gonna leave her up here to die of starvation and suffocation. You know, via realistically. Okay, um, okay. Alright, uh, we're going to, uh, we're gonna have to do some space construction here. F5 save. Nobody gets left behind, damn it. Alright, we're going to decouple this, and it should reveal behind it a large docking port. I'm gonna see if I can't take that docking port and place it on top of this spacecraft, and then dock this HAB module on there. Okay, so we're parked over the colony ship, and now... Da, la, la, la. Actually looks pretty cool, though. Ah, hell. We're in night. <laughs> oh, this is gonna have to be a night mission. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Alright, maybe, um, so... What, okay, here's the new thing that I've heard. I've heard that two engineers can do more than just one engineer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if one engineer can 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 do this simple mission. And if not, then we'll have a second engineer come out and see if we can do the mission then. Where the hell? Is the Kerbal in there? <laughs> Wait, I can't I can't see him. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's, let's go ahead and see if we can't grab this. Yep, yes, we, can. we sure can. And put it right there. There? Oh, it's showing red. Oh no. Why is it showing red? Alright, cancel. What? I said cancel! You 
Son of a gun, where'd you put it? It better not be floating in space. I will be so pissed. Where is it? Oh, where is it? Where'd you put it? Where the hell did you stash it? D -d 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 delete? No. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, wait. I see it. I see it. Yes. This, the asshole put it in space. <laughs> the asshole put it in space. How could you do that? Okay. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, everything's good, everything's good. Just gonna calm down, just calm down. And uh, we have him and er, her in there, right? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and undock, release. Uh, turn on your con control there, sweetheart. Uh, okay, no problems, no problems. Okay, just uh, flip around. Okay, we have very limited fuel on this thing. Very limited fuel, all right? Okay, no problems, no problems at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, let me turn on F11 so I can see where everybody is. Okay, you uh, come down here and I'm gonna see if I can't get that claw grab that claw and put it on here there you go do your thing shoot your laser yeah, very very good okay all right take the claw and uh, is it disarmed okay it's already armed and so I'll go ahead and arm it make sure she's working okay now we're gonna very very steadily move forward turn off RCS turn around and grab it power is looking okay we are losing power though RCS is on move forward very easy Easily, easy, easy, easy. Before it bumps into that thing, grab it, grab it. Got you. Okay, slowing down, slowing down. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> ha! We're really low on fuel here. We'll grab the. Wait, what? Cannot. Oh, because it's attached to the thing. Oh my. Okay, release. Yeah, so I figured you're gonna do that. Spit it out there. Oh, put it on. Come on, put it on. Why won't it go on? I want to go on. If I put it right here, well, it's going to... Okay, that's fine. I'm almost half tempted to grab a, a freaking panel from here. Oh, wait. No, I got it. I got it. And we're just going to place it right here. Whoa, what's going on with the... Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Today, today. This thing completely lost control. Move, move, move. <gasps> Get out of the way. This ship is tumbling now. Oh, ho, ho. See, look, it wants to go in there. So what... Oh, wait. I think it's this piece of shit. You can get rid of that. I don't care about that at all. <gasps> I was right. This thing is just a total loss. I'm not even going to try. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. However, it does have something in it that I, I really actually want to get. And that is one of the control panels to remote control vehicles. And, you know, basically just remote control anything. Oh, right. We are docked. Looking good. All right. Here is the wreck. And speaking of Rex, uh, someone did uh, send me a link to their colony ship, aka wrecked colony ship, supposedly. Uh, for, um, it's a link to the Kerbal X, and so I did download it. I haven't, I haven't looked at it yet, but I did download it so that when the time comes that we actually explore stuff like that, um, I'll definitely have it on the ready. Can I grab that right here? Thank you. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, I'm gonna place it right here. Get out of here. Let's do this. That's right. I'm gonna put that right there. You know what? We're not gonna use we're not gonna use it for control, so we're just gonna use it to be able to control other things. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take the solar panels off of the ship or what's left of it and bring it back to the colony. You all light up real nice. Okay. Take you right there, put you there. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, get, oh, oh no, whoa, jeez. Wow. Now, can I go up there and retract the panels manually? Probably make uh, for much easier collection. I don't see that option popping up. Oh, there it is. Well, damn, that could have made things a lot easier. Alright, so the lander, the colonist lander is ready. And here is what's left over from the, uh, from the, uh, colony ship. This is the husk. <laughs> this is the husk. This is the core of the apple. Right here. A pretty much dead husk of a spacecraft. I mean, we got, we got lots of fuel, actually. 
3,000 units worth of fuel, so uh, I'm not going to destroy it or anything like of that nature. All right, well, everybody salute to the New Horizon colony ship. She got us here in one piece. So long, New Horizon. Thank you for saving us. Godspeed. Alright, we're preparing for a landing. This of course is a simulated landing, unless of course we nail it the first time, in which it won't be a simulation anymore, it'll just be a really awesome event by Awesome Kerbals. Here we go, in 3, 2, 1. Uh, why is this here? What? Uh, no. Why is this here? Huh? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? It just magically appeared, huh? Wow. I don't even know anymore. <sighs> Things were going so well. Now we got. Now we have magical parts appearing for no reason. Whatever. Let's land this thing. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Air brakes open. Landing gear deployed. Coming in, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking real good. Touchdown. We even got closer than the other lander. <laughs> Touchdown. Both landers on the ground. I don't know what the hell this is, but we'll make it work. Now, I'm probably going to do something really dumb. That's why I'm going to save first. Everyone's like, oh, no, he's going to do something dumb. Yeah, maybe just a little dumb. I, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Hello there. How much delta V does this one have? I think we're gonna be. Able, I, I think we'll be okay. I'm not gonna miss anymore. We're good. We're good with messing. All messing is done. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we can get a little closer, right? Okay, absolutely no more messing around at all. We're done. It's cool. We're good. It's all good. We're good. Everything's awesome. Oh, it's already working? Wait, what? So I just clicked on the uh, uh, rover pusher or pusher mover or whatever, and it has full probe control and signal strength 100%. It says it's getting its signal from Colonist Lander 2, which is the one that just landed. So I don't have a rate, I don't have a dish on here, but apparently this thing is giving out a signal, which is allowing me to remote control um, the probe. Uh, Robo Rover. What about this guy? Is, is it the same thing? Yeah, Colonist 2 Lander. So the Colonist 2 Lander, um, I, I did not know that you didn't need a, you didn't need a, a antenna or a dish or anything. Just as, as long as you're in within the vicinity of this remote guidance unit, you're good. Well, I'll be damned. I mean, that works for me, right? Anyway, uh, if you liked what you saw, uh, consider subscribing. Um, and if you subscribe, uh, don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you get uh, little pings and stuff of every time I download load which is almost every day uh except if something really really big happens but anyway mostly every day but uh so yeah thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel i am veos love you all take care and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye it actually looks really cool i'm i'm digging this man i am digging this this is this is so epic right here. This lander is probably the, like the best one that I think I've built in a long while. I love it. I just love it. Sweet.